trying to explain to the folks what you're doing. Mm, clearancing the back of this rim. They're aftermarket rims. I see. They're aluminum, right? Yeah. So Casting they... differences in the thickness makes them not perfectly round. We're using aftermarket wildwood brakes, and the combination is just too tight and needs some clearance. Okay. Uh, what I'm doing here with the heavy grinder is I'm kind of putting it on an angle at the side because I don't want the entire weight of the machine if you run it on the bottom. I'm using part of the weight of the machine. I'm not putting any pressure on it from my hand. If you let the machine do the work, you'll get a better result, and I have a happier machine. Okay, and then what's the next step after that? Uh, the next step after that is once I make sure that they are clearanced, I needed about a 64th of an inch. I'll go back over them with a red scotch bite on a angle grinder and smooth them back out and repaint them black. Cool. So you'll never know I was in there. So Don't try this at home. <laughs> one, just one part of the customs. Let's see how that you're clearancing over here. Now these are the brakes you were talking about. And you see you've already machined out a little bit of the brake caliper itself. How much did you have to take out of that? Uh, about a sixteenth of an inch. And it's not recommended at home unless you know what you're doing. Now that's a tight fit. When I hit him with the red scratch right roll lock, it'll take off less than a 64th of metal, which will give me clearance for my paint. So if they don't rub now, they won't rub when I'm done. Cool. That's pretty tight. And I can't take off any more than you need to. These are pretty thick rims. Though. Which project is this? This is uh, Mr. Ferguson's Gia. Oh, sex and candy. I'm looking forward to riding in this one. Yep. Okay, so that's what you're showing there. I've still got a high spot. Not much, but one. Right there. So back to the grind, right? Back to the grind. Say goodnight, folks. Goodnight, folks.